India is increasingly unlikely to lease a second Akula-class nuclear attack submarine from Russia, as delays in INS Chakra 3 have reduced its long-term value. With delivery now pushed to 2028, the training window has narrowed. Meanwhile, India has approved two indigenous SSNs under Project 77, with construction set to begin soon. Planners now prefer maximizing training on the existing leased submarine, while accelerating indigenous SSN development. India and Germany are set to finalize a landmark $8 billion submarine deal. Under Project 75I, the Indian Navy has selected the German Type 214 NG AIP submarine to be built in India by Mazgon Dock with TKMS support. The agreement prioritizes proven stealth and air independent propulsion, strong technology transfer, and indigenization, significantly boosting India's underwater combat capability and defense industrial partnership with Germany. Bharat Forge Chairman Baba Kalyani has revealed talks with two to three European defense majors to relocate parts of their production to India. Driven by manpower shortages and capacity constraints in Europe, the move would focus on export-oriented manufacturing. For India, this could strengthen its defense industrial base, create high-value jobs and boost exports, while positioning the country as a trusted global hub for advanced defense manufacturing. The Indian Army will unveil its newly inducted Suryastra multi-caliber rocket launcher at the Army Day Parade in Jaipur on January 15. Mounted on a high-mobility Tatra platform, Suryastra is the Indian Army's version of the PULS long-range rocket system, manufactured domestically by NIBE. Its public display confirms operational induction, capable of firing 150-kilometer extra rockets or 300-kilometer Predator Hawk missiles, Suryastra adds flexible deprecision strike power to India's evolving rocket artillery arsenal. The Indian Army is moving decisively to strengthen drone warfare and long-range precision strike capabilities by raising 15 to 20 specialized Shaktabarn regiments. Equipped with swarm drones, loitering munitions and long-range UAVs, these units will enable strikes from as close as 5 kilometers to deep targets up to 500 kilometers away. Raised under the Regiment of Artillery, the new formations mark a major doctrinal shift in battlefield firepower. Conceived by Army Chief General Apendrad Vivedi, the initiative bridges critical strike gaps, offering faster response, greater flexibility, and cost-effective precision in future high-intensity conflicts. The Indian Navy plans to arm frontline warships with long-range maritime loitering munitions launched from ship-mounted canisters. Designed for true standoff operations, these systems will target enemy sensors, air defenses, land sites, and hostile warships. Initial variants will suppress radars and point defenses, while later versions will deliver hull-level strikes. Cheaper than cruise missiles, they offer persistent surveillance, precision attack, and greater flexibility, strengthening India's maritime deterrence. The Indian Navy is exploring a repeat order of its indigenous aircraft carrier, IAC-1, with targeted upgrades drawn from operational experience. Navy Chief Admiral Dinesh K. Tripathi says lessons from the first carrier are guiding plans to enhance aviation operations, sensors, combat systems, and survivability. Rather than starting from scratch, the Navy prefers refining the proven IAC-1 design to integrate future technologies including support for next-generation aircraft and unmanned systems. This approach strengthens indigenization, sustains India's shipbuilding ecosystem, and balances capability growth with cost and delivery timelines, ensuring long-term relevance in an increasingly contested maritime environment. India is moving into the future of warfare as ARD confirms the development of an indigenous electromagnetic railgun for the Indian Army. Powered entirely by electricity, the system uses 11,000 volts and megaampere currents to hurl a 50-kilogram projectile at nearly 2,000 meters per second, achieving ranges close to 200 kilometers without chemical propellants. 
The railgun promises simplified logistics, enhanced safety, and unprecedented long-range firepower. With key subsystems already in place, ARD aims to weaponize and deploy the technology within the next decade, positioning India among a select group of nations mastering next-generation electromagnetic weapons. In a major boost to indigenous surveillance capabilities, the Indian Army has placed a rupees 168 crore order for the medium-altitude persistent surveillance system from New Space Research and Technologies. This marks the first deployment of solar-powered UAVs in Indian military service. Designed for long-endurance ISR, electronic intelligence and communication relay missions, medium-altitude persistent surveillance system features electric propulsion, mission autonomy, and operations in GNSS-denied environments. With low acoustic and thermal signatures, the system enables discrete, continuous surveillance from the Himalayas to the deserts. The induction reflects growing confidence in homegrown unmanned technologies and strengthens the Army's ability to maintain persistent situational awareness along sensitive borders. At Aeronautics 2047, Bard Electronics Limited unveiled a fully indigenous, integrated avionics stack for India's AMCA and LCA MK2 programs. The end-to-end -end digital architecture includes AESA radar, the digital flight control computer MK2 fly-by-wire computer, weapon interface systems, and advanced navigation sensors. Designed around fifth-generation sensor fusion, the suite enables seamless integration of radar, electronic warfare, and electro-optical data into a single tactical picture. With indigenous data buses, distributed aperture system elements, and MIL standard compatibility, Bell's avionics ecosystem marks a major leap toward self-reliance and enhanced situational awareness in next-generation air combat. That's all for now. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.